Head salute. Two. Four. Arms. Detail. And Five. bright stars through the perilous fight. Or the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streamed.
adopted for use in military funerals in 1891. Prior to that, it was recognized as an appropriate bugle call by the United States Army in 1874. But the origin of the tune is, shall we say, up subject to discussion. But it is universally agreed to have been, to have taken its current form during the Civil War and the arrangement we hear today came from the pen of U.S. Army Brigadier General Daniel Butterfield. His bugler sounded taps at a funeral in July 1862 at Harrison's Landing in Virginia. That bugler, by the way, Oliver Wilcox Norton, was born and raised a few short miles from here in East Springfield, Pennsylvania. In a matter of months after that, taps was being used throughout the armies of both the North and the South in the Civil War. TAPS is often sounded at the end of the day on U.S. Armed Forces bases around the world and at military funerals and memorial services. Today we gather together in that same spirit to remember our Armed Forces members who have gone before us and to honor those serving around the world today. So before we raise our trumpet call today, I borrow the words of Oliver Wendell Holmes, who during a Memorial Day speech in 1884 spoke as follows. I see beyond the forest the moving banners of a hidden column. Our dead brothers and sisters still live for us and bid us think of life, not death, of life to which in their youth they lent the passion and joy of the spring. As I listen, the great chorus of life and joy begins again. And amid the awesome orchestra of seen and unseen powers and destinies of good and evil, our trumpets sound once more a note of daring, hope, will, and gratitude. Thank you. Wait. Is that it? Or. Oh. 